H2K Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis – How we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kemphasis.com. Then what you need to do, you have to come to this table and take employee 1 and check, okay, he is in, he belongs to Tirupati and state AP. So in that case, you have to write a join. Join is primarily used to retrieve data from multiple tables based on some condition. So here the common condition between common uh, column between both the tables is employee ID. Okay. Now, so now I'm going to create a join and I'm going to show you how to write a join to retrieve those values. So ideally, what I need now, I need now, I need F name and city and state. This is the report which I want. So leadership has asked me to give the details of first name, city and state of all the employees. Okay. Now I want to write a join. So let me write the join. Select whatever columns I need. Let me write them. F name and and what do I need? I need city. I need state. From. I need from which table I need? I need from employee table. So let me write this. Copy employee table and join. Which table I want to join? I want to join employee table. First write the columns. I repeat again. First write the columns you want. I need first name, city and state. This is what they asked for me for generating the report. And then write like this from employee join and which table I want to join? I want to join with address table. On what is the condition? What is the condition? This employee ID is equal to this employee ID. On this condition I want the records. So what I need to do now here is actually what I can do is I can write I can give some alias name employee EMP and I can give address ADD okay and here I can write like this on EMP dot EMP -Y employee ID is equal to ADD dot employee ID okay now here I can I can also this is the alias name for employee. I can write here like this EMP dot F name and this EMP dot city and this state. So city and state belongs to address. So I need to write ADD. ADD dot city and ADD dot state. Now you can see here select this F name from employee table. I'm giving EMP dot and ADD dot city and uh, from this join address add on this so I got a question uh, from I got a question from uh, is I saying like why don't we why are not using uh, the keyword as here so normally we I have I have shown like this select uh, get date as I have written like this current date from current date right I have used this keyword uh, to generate like this for example if I write like this I'm seeing current date here but here you don't need to use the keyword as to give the uh, alias name when you're writing like this okay only for columns you need to use the keyword as and you need to write like this okay for uh, tables you don't need to write you don't need to use the keyword as okay now select whatever columns you want to and a prefix with that alias name of that table and from employee join address on which condition you want to join so let me try to execute this where is the mistake here uh, from employee join address on so let's try to uh, let's not use the keyword add let me put here ad let's see whether is it because of the keyword so always I it's a strongly uh, Microsoft also suggests not to use the keywords so don't use any keywords uh, inbuilt keywords okay uh, don't use insert update as your table names or alias names see now I'm getting it properly it's because 
add is a keyword of SQL Server, it's it's showing some error. So don't use the SQL Server keywords as alias names. Even don't use address also. Address is also keyword, but s I have used it, so I I'll change it next time. Okay. So so now you are seeing that result here so can you guys guess why I'm not seeing the fourth record employee fourth record actually I have four values in employee table but I'm only seeing three records what could be the reason yeah I got one answer because no matching ID yeah yeah I got the correct answer from Srikant so there is no matching ID in address tables so that's the reason why but what happens if your leadership sees this say for example you have given this you have used this query and you have given this results for your leadership so what is that impression they will get how many employees they have we have in the company so they might get an impression saying like okay we have three employees in the company but we have four employees in the company so in that case you have to use outer join so inner join so this join is simply join or you can call this as inner join is used to retrieve the records if it will give only the matching records it will not give if there is no matching records like for example if you see here in employee and address table we don't have matching record for in address table so it will not give this record when you are using inner join or simple join you don't need to mention specifically you don't need to write uh, exclusively like inner join by default if you write a join that is called as inner join so even you can write it if you are uh, if you want to write it you can mention as inner join or it it's not required so inner join is something which will give if both the records are matching it will give you uh, the, uh, the matching records okay now let's try to understand so so you don't need this uh, result exactly what you need uh, because your inner join is only giving the records for the matching condition but there are places where 60% of the projects will use inner join because they want only matching matching records okay now imagine if if this is the join which is which which one do you think is the right table and which one do you think is the left table which is the right side table for this join which is the right side table for this join everyone address is the right side table and which is the left side table left side table is employee now if for the leadership which uh, I want uh, so from which table left table all the records or right table all the records I want I want to print in this result all the tables from left table all the records from left table I want so in that case what you have to do you know you have to write from employee EMP you have to write left outer join so when you write a left outer join it will display all the records in left table and if there is no matching records in right table it will display null for that okay so what you need to do you know you need to write a left outer join so so let me modify this left outer join so l I repeat again left outer join will give all the records from the left table if there are no matching records in the right table it will put null value for that so let me execute this now if leadership sees this report okay they will understand that okay there are four employees and uh, Amar is yet to fill the city and state this is fine this is what they needed so now is it clear now what is the use of left table left outer join everyone left outer join will give all the records from the left table and if there is no matching record in the right table it will put null for that everyone is it clear okay S to confuse you or to make this concept very clear what I'm going to do you know I'm going to open this PDF and I'm going to add this material is very good I'm sure you will understand uh, very clearly about this I mentioned here this is the left table and this is the join this is the right table employee address and this left outer join now I'm going to add one more record into this table insert into this address let me add this now no confusion here it's very stra straightforward and simple topic and I'm going to add one more employee 5 and I'm going to add here let me put a um, um, 
let me put a new state called Kohima, uh, Kohima and let me put here Nagaland okay so now uh, Nagaland is a state which has its capital called Kohima or whatever it is so let me execute this uh, now now I have ideally if you see here I have four records I have employee 4 but I don't have employee 4 in address table I have five here in employee address table but I don't have five in employee table that means employee has not five has not filled his employee details but he filled his address details it happens very rarely uh, and in fact it should never happen it will never happen now can you guys tell me if I write a left outer join how many records I will have now if I execute this how many records I will have okay now if I put here right outer join how many records I will see now I am just putting right outer join how many records do you think I will see now okay so everyone is correct right outer join also will give four records but here you will not see Amar when I am doing right outer join you will not see Amar but you will see uh, Kohima and Nagaland but you don't see anything for for the first name so let me execute this okay so I'm not seeing employee ID 4 and but I'm seeing four records so that is about right outer join so left outer join will give all the records in left table and if there is no matching records we'll put null for that right outer join will give all the records in the right table and if there is no matching record it'll put null for the left table now there is something called full join so full join is something like it will give the combination of right outer join and left outer join can you guys guess how many records I will see in full join so how many records do you think I will see in a full join so most of you or all of you are telling it's five records so let's try to execute this so I'm seeing Amar null null and I'm seeing null here and Kohima Nagaland so a full join is something like a combination of left outer join and right outer join so so now uh, this one will be also uh, depending on your requirement you have to go for which join you need so if you want exactly the matching records irrespective of uh, uh, extra records or something say for example I want um, I want exactly matching employee IDs which are there in both the tables in that case I'll go for inner join or simple join if I want all the employees and if uh, whether they have filled uh, city or state uh, in that case I can go for left outer join in case if I want all those who fill the address if they have not filled the profile it should be fine then you have to go for right outer table and if you want the combination of both and if you want the complete result and a result then you have to go for full join any doubts here is it clear is the topic clear now please ping me if it's clear everyone okay let me ask one question let me confuse you and uh, okay so now I am going full join is something like uh, uh, okay I got a uh, I got one question saying to repeat once so full join is something like it's a combination of left outer join and right outer join so you see uh, you can tell like this it's a combination of left outer join and right outer join and you will see all the records which you, when you're writing a full join right you will see all the records which you see in left join and you will see all the records which you see in right join right out join so both the things will be there in full join okay now let me let me add one more record here so now I'm going to add um, say for example 6 and in address table I'm going to add one more record 6 and I'm going to give the name as okay I'm going to give the name as um, Hyderabad and uh, let me put the name as the newly formed state okay now let me execute this 
now I have let me do select star from both the tables now I have four records here and uh, two people have already filled the address details but not there in the employee details okay well and good no problem now uh, I'm going to ask you and you have to tell me how many records you will see here so let me write here address AD uh, left outer join employee EMP. E Can you ping me everyone how many records I'll see if I execute this query? You're seeing below. First shot you have to tell correctly. Please see the tables below and then answer. Please see the tables below. I have this is employee table and this is address table. Before answering, please see the employee table and tell me how many records you will see I have, I'm getting I'm getting mixed answers some of you are telling four some of you are telling five some of you are telling six okay I think I got correct answer from Srikant and Izai uh, they both are correct okay so here if you see for address table which is your left table which is your left table here left outer join so my left table is it's not employee this is the join right which is my left table that's why I reversed it now I reversed it now the left table for this one is address I reversed it now previously I wrote employee this side and I reversed it now so for this join the left table is address so when I'm writing a uh, left auto join all the records in the address table will be printed and if there are no matching records it will print uh, null for that so the answer is uh, five records so let me try to execute this we have five records here one two three four five and null because these two are not having an employee okay let me ask another question let's see how many of you will tell correctly now let me execute this select star from employee address now let's go back here and I'm going to put full join everyone please ping me how many records I will see now only one one choice take time and see the results only one choice how many records I'll see in full join yeah I I got all the answers are six so yeah everyone is right so now full join you already know that is it six yeah it is six perfect so everyone is right because I will see all the four here and and five six will be additional so the answer is six records so let me execute this and you can see that there are six records these two are null because this is not there in employee table and these two are null because this is not there in address table okay now please ping me in the chat window if you are clear with if you are clear with these four types of joins inner join left outer join right outer join full join please ping me if it's clear or any doubts here okay so okay now so I'll I'll send this PDF for you for sure you have to practice this otherwise you'll forget it after some days uh, I have seen people coming back and uh, so you should be very clear in in this okay now let's go back to this one now okay so let's go back there is one more thing something called cross join very rarely use it very very rarely in fact uh, in nine years of my programming experience I have never used a cross join but still we have to discuss this because uh, that's the that's a part of one of the join so I will who wants to take this up in the next class maybe one of you can explain and uh, for 10 minutes and uh, and then if so anyone wants to explain this what is the use of cross join it's simple who wants to go ahead um, and explain to others anyone wants to take this up and explain to others what is a cross join the reason why I ask uh, others is like it will be like uh, even the student will get a choice a ch chance to explain others and even I will come to know how how people will explain the concepts so that it will be learning for both of us so anyone wants to go ahead or I will explain now itself
anyone okay so yeah let me explain then okay now sometimes what happens was let me create the table now let me create a table say for example I have a table called create table student okay and now I have a table called uh, create table student and create table subject say for example I have a subject ID and okay now I have uh, something called uh, st student ID I'll put ST ID and ST name so I have uh, a table called student I student table and I have subject table and uh, and let me create these two tables so I'm creating student table and I'm going to create subject table let me add some records for this so now I'm going to create it insert records so insert into student table values I'm going to give one comma uh, make not and let me copy this and I'm going to put two here I'm going to put Ravi here again joints are very important please focus here please focus on the class now insert into subject values I'm going to put one comma mathematics let put let's put maths let me copy this and paste it here and let me put here two and let me put here uh, English or let me put here uh, ASP.NET and SQL Server okay so before that let me check whether I have added or not uh, I select star from student let me execute this okay so let me execute this records now if I uh, if if see both of them I think Meghnath and Ravi both of them joined uh, joined the course ASP.NET or SQL Server rather than okay let's not put as this course because it will be confusing so let me put here uh, delete from sorry I think uh, let me say for example uh, they have um, uh, English language subjects English and say for example they have Hindi so let me execute this now imagine they are doing plus two uh, both of them uh, both Meghna and Ravid both of them are doing 10 plus two and they have English and English and Hindi as their languages okay so for both of them both the subjects are mandatory so imagine I now you have to generate a report saying like uh, student versus uh, this subject so what you have to do I have to write a cross join here Meghnath English Meghnath Hindi and Ravi English Ravi Hindi like that so every record in first table should 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 have the combination with all the records in the second table second record all the records first record all the records so it's something like a Cartesian product of all the records of first table with all the records of second table so in that case you have to go for a cross join so now let's try to write the cross join here so here what I need here select star from select star from I need student and subject so I need uh, let me go here student st name right yeah select star f select uh, uh, st dot st name comma uh, esu dot esub name from student st uh, cross join subject subject su on no on 
okay uh, because you need all the uh, so you don't have any commonality but you need all the all combinations so Meghnath English Meghnath Hindi Ravi English Ravi Hindi so now if I execute this you can see that okay this student has these two subjects this student has these two subjects so that's where you use a cross join so I have never used it but just for your information you should know that the cross join is something like a Cartesian product of both the rec uh, records from both the tables and performance wise cross join is slow because it has to put all the combinations is it making sense everyone the cross join is it make is it clear please ping me in the chat window if it's clear okay but I'm sure I, it is rarely used so uh, this is one of the exception scenario where you might need to use a cross join but otherwise not required okay so just to quick summarize we discussed on um, differences between delete drop and truncate we have discussed on the types of joins uh, so we have uh, inner join or a simple join and we have left outer join we have right outer join we have full join and we have cross join so I'll be sending this PDF for you please practice them after the uh, whenever you find time and uh, so any questions